<laughs> right. You guys are sitting in a really nice place. It's uh, the room in the Helton. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, Pete's been here for so long that uh, the staff has learned to pretty much leave their things and go. Um, Lovely. They, they figured out that he doesn't want them hanging about. So they pretty much set up uh, like alcohol and food and tea and clean stuff and then get the fuck out. I shall attempt some violin playing. Yay! Ooh, that's by lots. He's actually really good at playing the violin, and I'm just imagining the Sherlock Holmes theme from the TV show that Jan has <laughs> never heard. So, yeah, that's that's currently playing. Mm. Which is even cooler because outside there's like horse sounds and stuff like that, like in the TV show. In yeah. fact, there's a handsome cab going by, like in the TV show. It's all coming together now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and you're stuck in the fucking old days. You seem to be in London now, Yana. What the fuck is going on? I'm not surprised after all we went through. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it'd be yeah, it's, it's a lot harder I'm, to shock people. There's probably a zone out there which is 19th century London. Yeah. You will fit right in. Yeah. Um, well, actually, if we could get to. If we could get to a San Angeles that was in a a world where San Angeles that existed in a world where Europe existed, mm -hmm. we could travel. We could travel. Yeah. Hey, all right. I think Matt's coming back. Everybody look busy. <laughs> <laughs> go, Matt. Go, go, Matt. If he's wearing uh, red headphones, then you know. Those of okay. yeah, yeah. I gotta buy some new fucking headphones. I hate I hate the prices in England. Oh my god, it's not as bad as in Australia. It's better mm -hmm. than Czech. Or oh, Maddie is typing. Oh, nope. Oh, he wants to link. Yes. Oh, he he, I, he hasn't worked out. You can scroll up. Yeah. You can send it out to him if you want, but I'm not going there. Nope. <laughs> I have to live with him. You don't. Exactly. Hmm, tempting then. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll restart uh, once again. You've already succeeded in your violining and stuff. Maybe that could yeah. be used to summon him in. You hear the handsome cab uh, outside. You see Holmes is playing his violin, and uh, uh, the woman with no name is drinking mm. something. Mm -hmm. Also, Yana, there seems to be a slipper near you. It's just laying on the floor. <laughs> wow. Just one. You don't know. It's It's got kind of the curled toe on the end. I look at my uh, foot. Your, your feet are bare. Mm. The slipper seems oddly, it, it's not kind of deflated, like there's no foot in it, so it could be half a foot in it. You're not sure. Hmm. I take the slipper. Okay, it's your slipper now. Yes. There's definitely something inside of it. I look. It seems to be a <coughs> small pouch of tobacco. Huh. Okay, I keep it. <laughs> <laughs> So, right, wow. Mine now. Those are shitty. No problem. Uh, you guys are sitting around in a hotel room. Uh, everybody looks over at the fourth chair, which uh, is, it has like, uh, it's a director's chair, and it says Dr. Fulton, Dr. James Fulton, and it's empty. And people go, eh. So, yeah. right. All right. So, um so what was the last thing for you mildred um uh, the last thing was uh, when we were all together when we were investigating Berlinson. all 
All By right. the way, those wondering why she sounds a little echoey, I apologize, but she has nothing in a large room except herself. She's being held there for medical experiments by the Czech government. <laughs> Help me. Please. Actually, it's <laughs> your, is it coming through your headset mic or your laptop mic? Because uh, you're a bit, because you're a bit fainter. Uh, uh. I don't know. I hope it's my... Uh, this and time. we're not getting the feedback we normally get from your headset. No, try try doing this to your microphone, Yana. Oh shit! I think it may be coming through the mic, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's well, weird. It, yeah, just you sound a bit fainter than you normally do. Okay. We'll we'll, uh, we'll have Yana surround herself with boxes next time, cardboard boxes okay. and shit. <laughs> Egg cartons. Egg cartons are better, but I, I'm guessing she's going to be getting a lot of shit in cardboard boxes soon. So, yeah. Yanni, Absolutely. you can build a little fort. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little one, though. Right. Oh. Big one. Why? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you right. guys are so the, Yeah. So, it's the last thing the two of you did was when we fixed Burlington? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So... I've been kicking around since then. I actually I got to meet Rock for the first time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> giving him a card for that evil fucking chuckle there. He had quite an impressive porn mustache as well. Hmm. Oh, did he? Yeah, the handlebar mustache, like in the YMCA thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. The Rock's great. He pays for all my shit. <laughs> Um, so apparently he, so a couple of things he found out that he passed on to me is San Francisco's, um, basically full of monsters oh. and the blue AI is in charge. So my suspicion is he couldn't recall the name of the person. I didn't mention it, but I suspect Dr. Morton's running shows that running the show there. Wow. Donna, Donna, give me some dramatic music real quick, please. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Come on, Donna. <laughs> um, the Queen's apparently having issues keeping the kingdom together in Genovia realm. Uh, we went we went over to Beastkin uh, Wild West, and that's apparently what the word is there. Um, there was the Westmead a torch part of the port city, yes. and um, the various nobles are scrabbling around because there's um. Well, according to St. San Angeles, Princess Danny's either missing, dead, or sorely wounded. Hmm. Um, and something that may upset you, Alex, the codpiece horse head is listless. Yeah. Yeah. Hercule. Uh, yes, Her Hercule was listless. So, you can and, tell him why. You can fill him in yeah, on yeah, all that yeah, 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 I was going to. I assume that was, I assume that was not, written not specifically. No. Yeah, yeah. So, in a nutshell, um, set red carpet, the mayor is now Batman. Oh. Mm -hmm. he, <laughs> That's right, bad girl. He's, <laughs> he's, um, there's a guy that worked, one of his aides is uh, a guy by the name of Demiria Austin, who oh. him and several others appear to be black healers. <laughs> um, I didn't know that was a thing, honestly. <laughs> um, basically, they had broken into the apartment, gone down into the sewers and captured Brown. Right. So... Uh, Rock and I worked out where he was, where Brown was getting held. Um, and then we decided instead of rushing in and having to deal with 10 to 20 black killers um, underground, we, um, since the Mossad seemed to be having quite a bit of interest in the rock, we uh, planted Rock's phone, turned Rock's phone there and planted it there and sat back and watched the fireworks that mm. proceeded when Mossad then raided the place mm -hmm. and then a bit later the police raided the place. <laughs> Let's just say Why? Mossad's not very happy with the Rock now, but I don't know how many operatives I have left in San Angeles because I wouldn't think they would be committing too many there. 
So mm. if if it one or two of their five be it five man groups or however they're set up taken out, cool. then um, they, their resources will be getting limited in San Angeles. Uh, anyway, um, we found yeah. we found Brown in un underground there. Um, he'd been turned to cement. <laughs> he, he's, he's basically they'd um, had a trap set up so that looks like when Mossad raided it set off the alarm or something they've activated it which poured cement onto into where they were holding brown so wow. after a bit of messing around uh, rock and I got brown out of there still in cement form uh, by jackhammers etc my ears are still ringing and we put him into Hollywood Lake slash reservoir because we weren't sure what else to do with him <laughs> No, because we could, couldn't work out where else to put him, where people may not find him and deface him. So we thought we would put him into underwater in the mud where we knew where he was and not many other people would, so that if we ever work out a way of um, uncementing him, we can do so. But the good news is that Rockstall has his ability to walk. Currently. So, currently, yes. Whether or not it will fade while we've um, Brown in that situation, we don't know. Um, part of the reason we put Brown in water is because he was water. We thought possibly he might be able to leak out, leach out himself <laughs> into the water, but um, it it hadn't happened. So, if either of you got any ideas of how to re to release him from the cement, because we mm. couldn't think of any way. Um, on the other thing is we've we set up a interdimensional communications between the various stores of our groups. Um, so there's the there's the bracelets that allow you to lead, to talk to each other. Um, we went and got a heap of them, and they I think Doc may have already given you one, Mildred. Quite a yeah. while ago, yeah, yeah, I think so. Anyway, there's we've got plenty back at um, the Australian Embassy, so you can get another one. Okay. Um, basically, we we inspected them and worked out you can do there's. You can do bullet and build functionality and various things with them besides leaving voice messages and stuff. So, demons. Uh, so <laughs> Alex, whether or not you want to nominate someone to access them on your behalf so they can relay to you what's what's there, any messages for you, like Alex Jr.? Hmm. I yeah, don't know. Well, yes. He, he might soon be following my aversion to demons as well. Yeah, I hope not. He's in that he's, he, he's followed. Speaking of which, um, you might want to get him to stop drinking. It's not healthy for a kid that age. I don't know what you're talking about. It's going to cause him brain damage. <laughs> but we like brain damage. It's much, much better when you have brain damage. So the problem is, well, most people do, is they just don't drink quite enough to get to the zen of alcoholism. Yeah. Exactly. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am soon going to be hitting the zen of alcoholism. And when that happens, who knows what's going to happen? It's going to be crazy. <laughs> it, it cuts to a scene of Alex Jr. with his arm around each of the elf kids going, I fucking love you guys. And they're like, I fucking hate this kid. <laughs> uh, but that, that's that's the main things. There's some stuff we've, deem we've dragoned on, but nothing particularly important just some jobs that um rock had to do that Got it. one of which he delayed too long and the deem the dragon don wasn't happy even though we did deliver the goods that he wanted um mm -hmm. but he apparently got blamed for him even though if the dragon dragon don's got any smarts he could shape things the way he wanted it to point the finger elsewhere so we gave him enough that... information to do so are you saying that they are making the look piggy gang a bad name when I'm not there. No, Rock <laughs> was making the lock pick gang the bad name. I helped Rock fulfill the contract that he wasn't able to fulfill up until oh, now. Good. good. Have I ever failed fulfilling a contract? <laughs> well there's the first time for everything. True, true. See, what it, what it seems like to me is what Rock needs is some kind of uh Mage of the Earth. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe that goblin. Yeah. Yeah. True. Going true. To see yeah. Blah, blah, and piss yeah, him yeah, off. They might know. 
And yeah, yeah. That, that might be an avenue he could explore. Someone to do with um, stone or earth element. Mm-hmm. Stone, yeah, earth element. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's not a bad idea. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, how, how close are you to drawing those um, pentagrams, the spirit pentagrams? Because um, right. Dragon Don's pretty much done and dusted everything else he needs. So he's okay. just waiting on you to fulfill okay. your part of the bargain. Ooh. Speaking of fulfilling contracts. Yeah. And I've got a bit for you people. I've got a bit. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Stop. The first few people will get it for three, apparently, and then it's going to be a 1,000 or 2,000 silver after that. Okay. But if we help him out doing it, like if you fulfill your part of the bargain, then. Yeah. I can try to to draw them. I was hope yeah. So if I was hoping possibly one of us would get a crit it's a crit or card or something like that to yeah. just really put the icing on the cake. That would be nice. Okay. Hmm. Cake. But, mm. Yes, cake. All right, so that that's pretty much the only other stuff that's happened since you guys have been around. Gotcha. Um yeah, is it, uh, Rock has found out a couple other things. He went exploring around this place and that, but I don't know how much of it is relevant. It's just other other potential jobs going on. Um, or the, um, the job that he didn't quite do right for the Dragon Don was guard, obtaining guard uniforms from a tailor's place where they were getting made. Apparently three ogre mages, as in Oni, stole them from there. And looks like they're trying to frame West um, Mead for the job. But I don't, I'm not familiar enough with the political yeah. situation here as to work out why they would try and blame Westmead for it since they're an island, you know, far away. Um, the, I can only assume brain. that it's um, Dr. Morton's manipulating things for some reason. Westmead, well, West, West, Westmead is in the country of the, uh, of the guy who's trying to marry Princess Danny. Yes, in a different time, in a different realm, yes. But Westmead in this realm... As in, it yeah. still exists. Is I'm this, sure. I'm sure this can't all be connected in some sort of fashion. Maybe, oh, maybe oh, not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but um, don't forget, Genovia and the country, the continent that Genovia is on, has disappeared or sunk in this timeline. When did this happen? <laughs> you know. yeah. what, what do you mean? When did this happen? Don't forget, we're time. in like twenty. We're in the Shadow Academy thing, so... Oh, yeah, okay, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, we're right, in 2151 I'm... here. Yeah, right, right, right. Princess Danny is in 1880. Yeah. Um, and Genovia sunk in 2105. So Genovia sunk or disappeared about 45 years ago. Mm. Thereabouts, mm. according to the history books here that I was able to obtain. Oh, of course, I could have checked with, you know, I wonder. There was an old guy that, I don't know if you encountered him, Alex, that um, Doc and I were talking to that knew a bit more about the truth of the Shadow Academy. I'm just wondering if he had access to actual I, proper history books. Yeah, I have not spent a lot of time at the Shadow Academy, to be honest. No, it wasn't at the Shadow Academy. It was where it was the the place nearby where um, the breaker was where Alex Kinley Jr. was. I don't know. Did you go out into the countryside? Not really. Okay. So we actually we actually saw Alex Kinley Jr. get abducted. Hmm. Um, what, by me? On our way out. <laughs> on our way out. No, no, no. By the, um, by the stained glass people, which is oh, a, something else. Which is something else I'm not too sure on as to which reality has enforced itself relating to that, whether or not it's the one where you guys destroyed whatever it was they were the other tale they were trying to summon or if it's the one where doc and i ran took the kid and buggered off and left them to their own devices who knows anyway so different things to do it's just a matter of what particularly we want to do yeah um Uh, I would not be adverse if you are willing to help me on this is because it's a, a 
probably a time sensitive nature. Um, I wouldn't mm. mind trying to find out more about what is going on with Princess Danny. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Not a problem. So we'll need to. Mm, the black arm bands, possibly, possibly not. We'll need to get um, the. We'll need to get appropriate knives with the big pommels on them, so that we that everybody wears there. Mm. Um, unless you've already obtained such accoutrements, no. All right. So we'll need to get we'll need to get them or rig something up to look like them. Uh, I'm thinking Beastkin San Angeles, mm -hmm. being that they seem to be very similar. That the knife maker there will probably have yep have for sale. So that would be that. The, that'd be the logical place to get. And then we can get you your new phone there. Mildred, while we're there. Oh, thanks. Um, Excellent. Uh, was there so anything we... else? No, go. Okay. Uh, I'm just curious if, because last time when, when you did the analyze magic on me, we had the idea to, to somehow try to triangulate where my girlfriend is. Mm. To, you know. The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, that is something else we can do as well. Yeah. Yes. Or maybe like we could like, yeah. Yeah, that that is that is another thing we can attempt to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I suppose it's. This, I suppose between the two of you, which situation is more critical? <laughs> it's hard to tell, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because. I suspect whichever one we decide to focus on is going to take up most of our time. I think it's unlikely that we'll resolve one or the other quickly. Yeah. So I, maybe the Alexis thing, because we don't know anything about Princess Danny and my girlfriend would be okay somewhere. The yeah, I was going to say, I think, yeah. I think we at least know that she's well with her. Yeah, 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 exactly. A good person or a bad person? Who knows? I'm, yeah, I think she's a good person, but the whole yeah, the whole situation with the daughter. Yeah, exactly. Right. I'm afraid that the daughter is aging so quickly; it would be hard to get rid of her when she's too old. What am I saying? <laughs> Assuming yes. you want to get rid of her, I think I, I think Mildred's girlfriend is good, but I would question her parenting skills. Oh, <laughs> true. 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 Just Maybe think of just think a, about what yeah. a child would be like that you've raised, Mildred. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Especially one that is a rapidly a, a rapidly aging. Uh. That's, uh. So that's going to a good adulthood in months as opposed to years. Huh. So I'm, I'm worried about Mildred trying a thirtieth trimester abortion. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So let's do let's, Alexis thing. All right. So before <laughs> she finds we a way leave, to avoid her personal problems just a little longer. <laughs> before we leave De Helton, I want to cast a spell try and cast a spell down in the smoking room. Right. See. You guys do you guys want to troop after him uh, to the smoking room and would you like to bring your violin and play it all the way there, Pete? You've now lived in this hotel long enough where you can become completely eccentric and they won't say shit. Well, they did offer to if I wanted to do a performance in the hotel. Yes, that's that's what I mean, but if you wanted to go in carpet slippers playing a violin throughout the hotel, they're not going to say anything to you. Yeah. You pay them well. Much as it's tempting just to go down there in my smoking jacket, but to um, mm. the smoking room. Mm, um, it's smoking. Yes, I think for this, since we're pretty much going to go to smoking room and then head out and mm. beyond. Um, I beyond. Not. I, so. Well, does anybody yeah, want to do anything before leaving the room? Oh, wait, so yes. we okay. We, we're gonna we're gonna cast spells and then leave straight away, or we cast in spells, sleep, then leave. I was thinking cast the spells and leave because okay. we potentially will find when we get to um, the uh, Beast King Wild West that we'll end up spending a, we'll end up having to spend a day or two there anyway. 
Okay. All right. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go magic crazy then. Did you want me to teach? Try and teach you something? Yeah, we can all try and teach stuff. Yes. Yes. Let me see. Do you have empathy? No. It's probably the worst. My worst spell, actually. But... Empathy. Yes, empathy, empathy school. The oh. spell sense life. Oh. I'd forgotten that one existed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the tree's pretty empty. Yeah, it is. That it's it's a spell that potentially can be useful at times. Mm. All right, so let's start with trying to do teaching. Yeah. Nope. Sorry, can't teach you today. Okay. Uh, do you guys have the healing one yet? No, no, that one I was actually interested in learning. Cure poison disease? The healing tree is something I am interested in attempting okay. to learn. Uh, Yana, you haven't got that? I'm... Okay, cool. Here we go for teaching. What's my teaching again? Okay. No. Right. So is it one teaching per person or one teaching for the group, Logan? One teaching one per One teaching group. per person per day. Oh. I thought it was yep. one you did teaching for the group. No, I thought well, you, you do, but you get one teaching roll. Yeah, that's what I mean. yeah, 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 that's yeah, what we're saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do I roll the teaching once? Try yeah. to teach both. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, try yeah. again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, that's that's all I was. Um, yeah, it's a group group thing now. What's Yana <laughs> going to teach? I don't think I have. I have anything you don't have. Do you have? Well, what have you got? I have uh, the sword trick, you have that, blood vision, cure poison disease, and pacify undead. I don't have those last two. Did you say blood vision? Blood vision. Blood, blood vision would be wild. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have the cure poison disease one, and I don't have the pacify undead one. Okay, which one do you want? I've the got life. both, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, the disease poison one. Okay. Try. Build up so. that teach. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, you make it make a note on your character sheet, Yana. You can never attempt to teach him the healing tree. Or the okay. either well, Pete, the healing tree. Ever, yeah. ever, ever. As you jam your finger into his eye socket. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the blood, it's not the blurred vision spell. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going into a casting frenzy now? I have my fumble deck ready. Um, no, because no. I, as in, there's only one particular spell on other spell I'm going to cast in this. The fumble instance, deck's been surprisingly mild so far. Uh, yeah. I'm going to attempt. Uh, well, you guys are going to need to max it out soon anyway, so... You're going to turn into a ghost, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you <Hey! bastard. laughs> at, least, at least let Mildred leave the room. Yeah, too late. Please. Too late. Why? Why? You, need to get it, you need to get it maxed out, and then you'll never have to worry about it again. But thank yeah, you but the, problem, the, real the ghost. problem is that her reaching zero and her matching out, maxing out the ghost is running... <laughs> 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 hey, no, she was really healthy after last time, wasn't she? We uh, uh, yeah, she was really healthy. Back a few. Yeah, up up to it's, a high of thirty only, or something. It's yeah. only it's it's zero. No, it's one if you make it. So um, did did you make your ghost roll there, Matt? Yes. Great. Yeah, Yana, did, go for that, did. Sam. There, eh, that's a fail. She hasn't. She. I don't think she's ever been at sixty-seven sand. I think she started at like twenty sand and has been struggling since or something. So it's D six if you if she fails it there. Yeah, but isn't she close to maxing this out by now? I have no idea, oh. Yana. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, oh, unfortunately, news, I don't have any. I don't have any reroll cards to give you. No worry. Good news, Yana. You you do have the uh, uh, possibility of uh, making and getting a check in willpower times three now. So if you can do your willpower times three, you get a check in it. If you don't, you might attack Matt, which is a big bonus for you. 
Yes, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, times. Power times three. Yeah. Just mash the button, and when you roll an eighty-seven, you won't even care what your willpower is. It's eighty-seven. I, I think didn't you didn't make it. Okay, sixty. Uh, well, no. Uh, yes. Uh, then, then uh, roll D three. Fight, flight, freak. Three. Freak. Ooh. Freak out for a while. <laughs> <laughs> she runs around and goes, Ooh. I'm a ghost. I'm like, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's a g -g 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 ghost. Now, surely you've got it maxed out now. I don't. What, what if you got it to the end? Maybe now. I need to find it. She's looking at like uh, uh, her insanities sheet, and it's like one of those form feed ones, and she just keeps <laughs> going and going and going. She's like, "It's in here somewhere." I lost three points to this. I lost eighty-seven to this. And... I'm the dinosaurs. Uh, that was oh, nice. What did you oh, read on? That was going to be for Ghost TK. Oh, okay. But as we don't have a ghost list now, I guess I don't get a fucking the next spell. You get nothing and like it. Yana, how many points do you have left to go until you max out g -g -g ghost? Uh, seven. Yeah. What? How, seven many, how many does it max at? Uh, Only, 16. Isn't it? 12. 16. No, really? 16. Oh, 16. Yeah. Okay, for this, one was, this, one was written, this one was written as 12. Yeah. Okay. Gate no is twelve. Ghost is sixteen. Mm. Well, uh, then, Matt, that means it is your sworn duty to freak her out at least twice more, so she has the ability to max that shit out. Mm. Don't worry. I'm sure you can help her get there, and then she'll be like, "Ghost, ghosts aren't scary. I live with Alex Kinley." <laughs> You like, want to see Whoa. something really scary? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just go get my cut piece. Yeah, it's going to make my gate spell, but nothing special. Bastard. Yeah, Matt rolls an unusual number of crits and shit. Mm -hmm. I can't help it. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we all know it's not the dice he's using, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. So, so done with spells? Yeah. Yep. Yana, did you want to cast spells that make you lose sanity just because? No. <laughs> okay. There's nothing better than Yana working her way, clawing her way back up just I to start the adventure that. down a bit. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Mm, poor Yana. So, uh, we'll, get guys, some, hmm? we'll get some sound back today. Yeah. If we save your princess. Maybe find your love child. As in what? Alex's love child, not Mildred's love child. <laughs> Everybody has love, love child except around. for me. I'm feeling jealous. No. Which love child are we talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting. You've got love you've got two love childs, strictly speaking, that we would be aware of, Alex. Um mm, no, well, I could have I could have many love children. Yes. Well, and no, well no, yes, no. yes. Well it's in Alexville or about. Kinleyville or whatever the hell it's called. Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. Um no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just thinking, we, we know of we know of we've met two Princess Dannys. Both of whom. Both of whom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. One was a lion. That's right. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's interesting as to... Yeah, anyway, it's the weird <laughs> realm stuff. <laughs> Let's just stop there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Full Mildred lose more sand to time, space, timey-wimey yeah. stuff. You can take her to Burlington. Burlington, I, Burlington was like meant to be the safe zone of no sand loss, and it just hammer, hammer, hammer. 
two people lost about 20 sand each in that fucker. I'm very happy yeah. with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah, uh, they hell. started at barely stable or completely unstable like Mildred and then saw like uh, their first pile of human heads in the pyramid and that had an effect uh, on okay. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yes, yes. From recent events, I thought you were talking about when they originally started there. Yeah, yeah, it's easy to avoid sand loss there. I mean, you may cause it if you're a milkman, but... <laughs> or milkwoman. Milk person. Milk that person. doesn't sound right. So, anyway. All right, so we shall go to Clem's. No problem. Unless, unless you want to do your pentagrams now, Mildred. Oh, I can try it. Is it... Uh. At are you going where where are you doing the pentagrams is a big question are you wanting to report into dragon dawn or well just kind just, of sketch them on your own and hope for the best because you have no model to work from or how, what's the deal here okay let's go to dragon dawn because it's better to see the thing cut to dragon dawn he looks as though you have taken all, like if, if you if you've taken all of his breakfast cereal and took a dump in it. He is not looking happy. And he goes, "Well, fuck! It what? is good to see you again. Yes. I am very displeased with your the rock person." The rock. Tell me more. What what does he do the rock? I will punish him. <laughs> Give me an intimidate role. He likes that kind of talk. Oh my God. <laughs> Again. Jeez, <that's> scary. <laughs> it, it shows several individuals who are like the, the sitting around people and they're like, and one of them goes, I want her so badly. And that one's like, quiet, you fool. <laughs> 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 so he apparently likes the discipline thing, but everybody else looks really freaked out by her. Dragon Don leans back in his chair and he goes, I don't need, I don't mean you necessarily need to kill him, but, uh, I gave him a simple mission. I wanted him to acquire uniforms of the guards without anybody knowing. I mm. told him if he needed to kill the shopkeeper, this was acceptable, or burn down the shop, this was acceptable. Anything so that it is not known, because I didn't want it coming back to me. As soon as they went missing, it did come back to me, and this has made me extremely displeased. And moreover, when he accepted this mission, he then left town for six weeks and then came yeah. back and, and bungled the mission after making us wait for six weeks. I need to teach him what does it mean to be a member of a luxury gang. If it was not for your second in command, the shotgun joker showing up, I am sure I would still be waiting for these uniforms. Be assured, Dragon Dawn, that I will take this matter in my own hands. Well, there's no need to get crazy about it. He's just trying to mollify you. As there's like flames and shit in your eyes. And he's like, all right. Well, I am assured that it will go swimmingly. Please, uh, what may I assist you with? He says, now eager to get you on your way. <laughs> We came to draw the seals, as we ah, agreed beforehand. Excellent. Uh, he has all of the art stuff brought in, as well as models. The, um, the spirit pentagrams, depending on whether one point is filled in, or two points, or three points, or four, or five, are all different, and they have different complex runes in it. This looks stupidly hard to draw. Essentially, he needs five different drawing rolls at half or negative 30 in order to make this project succeed. If you can do all of those, then, or if you just say, fuck it, I just want one roll, here's your crit, fuck off, then I'll accept that too if you have the as a crit card. But otherwise, or you're Alex Kinley suddenly. You <laughs> roll that one for no reason. Well, actually, you're. You just rolled that one, so um, something like that. But yeah, five five at negative thirty, and then the project will be able to move forward. And you can have up to three attempts on each. Okay. Yeah, because you know, unless you fumble, in which case, 
Wah, wah. It's drawing a writing skill. Yeah, it's yeah. Art, art, sli uh, under, underline drawing is what yeah, you'd write it. A plus 20 to a writing skill card. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Unfortunately, it would only be for one. one mm. Yeah, but still. Yeah. Just trade me uh, a shit card, you know. Okay. I feel bad for the six cent. <laughs> <laughs> you should. I didn't think it was gonna be that much. God damn. God damn. Indeed. By the way, Dragon, did you meet my new member of the lockpick gang? He looks at him and he attempts his knowing shit role. So we have met actually. Uh -huh. If you remember rightly, uh, I I was known as Whiskey. Ooh. Yes, he says that is. He says he calls himself Whiskey, but we all know who he is. Mm. Whiskey Slayer of the Big Ass Kraken. Hmm. Very well. We Daddy will... more Krakens. <laughs> As I climbed within its eye hole. Well done, he says <laughs> after a pause. <laughs> Drink. So, uh, they bring you alcohol and stuff like that. Uh, yes, he, he's he's extremely pleased that uh, apparently uh, fuck is uh, so violent uh, that she will punish the rock in ways too horrible for this mafioso to contemplate. He's pretty convinced that you're going to fucking break his fingers with a ball peen hammer just as a way of saying, you know what you did wrong, and then move on from there. So go ahead and give me uh, your first art roll here. Mm -hmm. I will play the card. And go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. First one's done. Ding. Okay. They play trumpets in the background. Oh, hang on a second. Do you want me to retrieve? I've got a full retrieve. I could grab that oh. writing. Okay. Well, she does have three tries for each of them. So. Oh, okay. If, if she just wants to go through the through all of them now and see which one she doesn't do, then the, you know. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so okay. the two points is not done. Go for the three points. Thousand points of light. Uh, yes. Cool. Okay, so one and three are done. Go for four. No. No. And lastly, go for five. So you've got two and four are left undone. Mm. Oh, the fumble, the dreaded wham wham. Yes, you have an eight here, batter. No. Ah, so wham wham. Are you spending a hero? Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Wow. That's That's with, really with your crit, it. you are now done with. Five and four. So all you have left is number two. I'm giving you an extra thing because it's a lot of rolls to ask for. So you only have one left. You have two more tries at it. It's the two points. Dragon Don is impressed. He's, you know, uh, aside from uh, you drawing a picture of uh, you torturing the rock, which he's asked. <laughs> if he can... <laughs> he's like, can I keep this for my collection? <laughs> See, this is called skilling. <laughs> uh, yes, I, if you don't mind, I, I would like to keep this. Can you sign it? Yes. <laughs> what do you sign? Oh, I, I can't. She goes, yes, I can't. <laughs> and he looks at me. <laughs> Big X. I, I, I'm just, please take it away from me. They take it away. Right, so you have number two left. Go, Yana. Okay. You can do it. Go, go, go. You got two chances. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it appears that the, the whoa, art whoa. is attempting to suck all the hero points out of your body. Whoa, okay. whoa, man. <laughs> One to a hundred. Yeah. 97. Oh, oh no, what? The hero points continue flying out of her body at an ever increasing rate. Her death is looming. Nice. Nice. Ah, yes. last. God damn, Yana. So. Uh, how many hero points are you down to, Yana? 18. Oh, it's higher than your sand. Cool. Mm -hmm. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Moving on. Right. Dragon Don is extremely pleased. He's like, 
at least somebody in this gang knows how to fulfill a contract. So uh, he says uh, they will do certain deeds and uh, stop back in a week or two. Okay. We are agreed, Dragondon. You will not be sad that you co cooperated with me. Yes, I'm very he, smooth, Olker. He looks very <laughs> confused, like he doesn't understand what the hell is going on. He says, thank you, fuck. Thank you, Dragondon. Let's go, look big gang. <laughs> I'm giving Yana a card for that. The dragon Don looks baffled. His guys are looking at each other. One goes, did we just join the lockpick gang? And there goes, let's check your pie hole. <laughs> you, I'd rather keep dragon Don as our boss. So you guys head out. Uh, where to? Uh, Clems. I, I actually know. Before we go to Clems, there's one other place I want to visit here, which is to... See and actually, I think Mildred will probably want to do this as well, or she probably doesn't care. Uh, the, <laughs> the great, um, Yang, the great Yang Dune, to see if he's back yet. Oh, ah, uh, you guys head over to the great Yang Dune's place, and yes, he is back. Good. Hello, he says. Hello. Hi. I think I owe you money. Ooh. Yes, and gear. Yeah. And what? Yeah. He looks confused. Gear? Yeah. Well, you you didn't tell us that we would get teleported when we walked that thing. I didn't know you would. I thought you were using your monstrous powers. Not at all. Not at all. We, we danced the pattern like you when we got teleported to another place. Maybe it's a monsters only thing. He goes and flips the uh, sign to closed on the shop and locks the door and comes back. It smells amazing in here and by amazing so, i don't mean the good one i mean obviously when we did the dance we weren't carrying our backpacks so assumably you brought them back on your mules he rolls for his competency and he says yes i did he gives you, you back your shit and lovely. the agreed upon payment lovely so he signs the paperwork saying we'll fulfill the contract so we can then go to the mercenary guild or yes. I guess the mercenary guild and collect. Yes, although you still owe them a job. The mercenary guild? Unless you pay them for joining, remember? Yeah, yeah, we paid to join. Oh, if you paid, then I, you're I, fine. Yeah, I paid for Mildred and I to join. Okay. Right, and that was 500 silver each, wasn't it? Uh, no, I think that was 1,000 silver each. But, uh, well, not to join I mean, for payment. No, 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 for the, doing the trip, for helping yeah. the Great Land Dune. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, you, you end up getting your money from the Mercenary Guild without issue and stuff. He yeah, is yeah, delighted yeah. to uh, do that. Mercenary Guild's impressed, and they, they're they like, yeah, good monsters. Everybody thinks you're monsters. Mm -hmm. No, not. And in, the one, in the one with no names case, they may be right. Exactly. I'm a tickle monster. You're a tickle monster. Mm -hmm. One of them looks like he's tempted to do it, and the other one's looking I'm like, no, 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 no. Hey, what? Tickle me, Alex. Tickle me, Alex, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you've got to be careful in this day and age with all this political correctness gone crazy. Some people are tingling the wrong way. One of them goes, what, like an Alex that's Kinley? How, that's how one of my love charts came about, actually. So what's an Alex Kinley? Uh, is he? They pointed Alex Kinley. Mm -hmm. What, an Alex Kinley? Or yeah. an Alex Kinley love child? Uh, I don't know about Love Child, but wasn't he the guy who jumped into a Kraken's eye socket? Yeah. Hey, uh, they want to have a drink with you. Definitely. Right. So you're stuck at the Mercenaries Guild because you've got your chip that allows you to go to the bank to pick up your money. Right now, it's a race against Alex drinking, well, and Mildred drinking, versus when the bank may close. <laughs> We have a job, people. Exactly. We need On to it be right there. now. <laughs> They're both <laughs> drinking. 
<laughs> Did you know Joshua McKay sitting there? And more and more alcohol, and more and more people are coming in, and you know they're talking to him and they're giving him alcohol. Both of you guys, give me your alcohol drug tolerance rolls, please. Uh, would you like to decide? Fuck it, we can get the money tomorrow. <laughs> there. Yeah, well, it's it's only <laughs> this gig we're doing, so we can't do it till tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, nice. Alex may have actually gotten drunk. Ooh. Alex, it's the first time. Where is it? Yep, I get drunk. <laughs> wow, no problem. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. they they roll for acquiring something special piece of gear. A padded wheelbarrow is brought yes. for Alex. <laughs> they bring the wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> No problem. Uh, yeah, Alex is still conscious, although he doesn't have the use of his uh, uh, legs at the moment. So mm -hmm. he is uh, being pushed around the wheelbarrow. Did Mildred make hers? No. Wow, two wheelbarrows, one Joshua McKay. Or you've <laughs> stacked them both in the same wheelbarrow and they're both hoping the air doesn't puke or piss. Yeah, they're just, they're just um, a pile of wood. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> No problem. Oh, hey, it was actually, a, a picture I saw that as soon as I saw it, I thought of Mildred was a person carrying a woman draped over their back, and the woman had a one a, a bucket hung on the head, so the bucket was directly below her mouth. Mm, perfect. No problem. So uh, it's not okay. Let me set up the scene here. It's nighttime. Joshua mm -hmm. McKay is the only one still able to walk. Yeah. Uh, the other two are sitting there. You, you can use your arms, mouths, and upper torsos. That's about it. Everything from the waist down, not working right now. The look, big we'll guy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right. I'll, get it. I'll, see if I, I'll see if I can get a hand, handsome cab. I was going to wheelbarrow him back, but with her yelling that out, I don't think it's going to be a good idea walking the streets. No, no, it, it probably is not. So, yeah, you, you get a handsome cab. He, he charges you uh, three silvers, uh, one yep. extra so silver for the night, one yep. extra silver for the company. Yeah, that's right. I pour him into the back. Where are we going? I don't want to go home yet. <laughs> There's better alcohol at the hotel. Oh, let's go. <laughs> no problem it shows it shows various doormen uh, uh they bring stretchers and stuff for these guys mm -hmm. so that they can be decanted into your room cut to okay. the next day they're both having their uh, uh, breakfast yeah. bloody marys all going to bed since we're not going anywhere now i was going to just Apparently bang, off not. Few, bang off a few spells Oh, carry on. Yeah, they, they're just laying there watching you and uh, maybe giggling, maybe not. Yeah. Oh, wow. If you blow yourself up or fumble on one, there may be laughter. Yes. Much laughter. Yeah. So it was at uh, four, five. So that puts me down to there. And do one of that. Ooh, no more of that for today. Is that fumble? Yes, it is a fumble. Fumble deck. Bing. All right, oh. let's see what happens. All right, hold on a, a second. Now, yeah. uh, your weapon is broken. If you have no weapon or finding unarmed, your hand or foot is broken. Take a D6 damage. If you are casting a spell, you seem broken. Lose an additional D20 magic points. This may cause you to become unconscious for hours, which is handy considering you're going to sleep soon. <laughs> Apparently the alcohol yeah. catches up with him yeah. suddenly. Yeah. He just fucking he, he does the nesty plunge and just fucking uh, nobody knows what that is. He he planks into uh, a chair and he's now sleeping bent over a chair. <laughs> so tempting. <laughs> <laughs> Another love pile. <laughs> 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 I wheel myself over to him in the wheelbarrow and just put like a, a um, uh, I pick up like a a cover or duvet or something and just drape him over it as he is. I don't try and move it <laughs> with a cover over, so he's warm at least. Nice, right? In the morning, uh, McKay wakes up with the worst 
fucking back pain imaginable. <laughs> he's he's almost screaming in pain and shit because one should not sleep like uh, folded over a piece of furniture. The other two are fine. They're drinking their Bloody Marys and chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> 